But I do know that that I want to serve God, even though that I'm weak and I make a lot of failures at it. And I know that I don't have any way of redeeming myself with all my failures. There's just no way. I, I've got nothing to offer. <clears throat> Try to offer obedience best I can, and even that is so weak. But you have to pray, and, and let's let's see if we can't just if we can feel the spirit of God, yeah. then that's all we need. If we can feel the spirit of God, then, and you know what, it, it's not about all the words that we can speak and, and and things like that. But we really need the Lord. And. Uh, I know that life is hard and and we don't do anything to help that. It, it seems like that so many people I know they don't really give pay too much attention to God. They don't they don't think a whole lot about serving God. But when anything goes wrong, they want to blame God. Yeah. All of a sudden it's God's fault. We don't think about all the joys and the goodness. And we don't think about the fact that when Jesus was here, when He was right down in His last hours and suffering and being persecuted, that when He stood before Pilate, the man that held His fate in His hands right there, and Pilate was accusing him of this and that. And basically he said, everybody says you're a king. Yeah. Well, if you're a king, where's your army? Mm -hmm. if, if you're what they say, then where's this kingdom? Where's this army at? Well, you know, Jesus just looked at him and he said, if my kingdom were of this world, if it were of this world, then would my armies come. Right. Yeah. And I think about that a lot. You know, Paul wrote in one place, and you just pray, I don't know if I'll preach or not. And Paul wrote in one place, and he said, if we, we only have confidence in this world. He said, if I only, if all of my confidence that I had was based on this world, he said, I'd be of all men most miserable. Yeah. Because you look at what this world has got to offer. You look at you look what time does to us. And you know what? It's not a real pleasant thing, is it? We just keep getting in the way. And I hope this morning that you've come out here seeking after maybe a blessing. And now that we are here, now that we've gone through the trouble of getting up and getting ready and we've come out here, surely for just a few minutes of time we can turn our heart to the Lord and say, God, I know that I'm a sinner. God, I know that I'm weak and I'm unworthy of Your blessings here. Lord God, but here I am. Yeah. Well, listen, when we come down in prayer here in just a minute, don't let it be in vain. Let's not just go through the motions this morning. Let's not just pretend. Uh, listen, because I'm telling you right now uh, that God, uh, you know what? I understand that He has all power. And I understand that when He speaks, it's done and nobody can hinder that. And then you know why did I know that? Uh, why so many people, uh, they just want to look at it uh, today. They want to look and say, well then, 
If God's in so much control, uh, then why do bad things happen in this yeah. world? Uh, the Son, if God yeah. is so powerful today, uh, then why is there a yeah. misery? Uh, listen, today, people, I'm telling you what, uh, don't forget uh, that His kingdom, uh, the Son, uh, was not of this world here, uh, but it's so far above yeah. this yeah. world, and it's so much greater than this world here. If we could, if we could come together, uh, just for a minute here uh, yeah. together and if we could turn uh, listen, uh, just a sincere heart today yeah. uh, to the Lord. I'm telling you, uh, uh, people, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, it works sure. like this here. Uh, uh, why you can come in this building, uh, uh, the biggest sinner in this world here. Uh, uh, listen here, uh, uh, you could come here. I uh, uh, never prayed a day in your life today. Yeah. Uh, but oh, God. Uh, but my Lord, uh, why when He works, nobody uh, uh, can slow Him down. Uh, and you, if you're the biggest sinner in the world, uh, uh, one minute, uh, and you go down on your knees, I'm telling you right now, uh, here's how fast God can work. Uh, uh, oh, God. Uh, uh, you think about uh, uh, here's how God works today uh, and how people don't understand uh, and we try to put logic to this thing called yeah. faith uh, I'm not telling you uh, why, uh, uh, oh uh, did you know that uh, when God told old Jonah uh, to go over there uh, to the land uh, listen over there uh, to Nineveh there uh, and preach to them uh, uh, that city uh, was the capital of the country of God's enemies today yeah. Yeah. it wasn't just some city he picked out it wasn't just some story here uh, but oh uh, this is the country uh, that was fighting God's people all the time yeah. and killed millions of them Brandon yeah. and here God told Jonah yeah. go over to there uh, in the land of Assyria there in Nineveh uh, I listen and preach to them because uh, their evil works have come up before me uh, and if they don't repent I'm going to destroy them uh, oh God and we know how when Jonah tried to run from that cold yeah. and was on the boat there and God sent a storm at him uh, listen, and got a hold of him there uh, did you know um, those men there on that boat um, they weren't children of God there and um, they served other gods today uh, and they all called on uh, their other gods yeah. uh, while Jonah was asleep down in the hole there uh, yeah. uh, oh Uh, they woke Jonah up and they said get up um, we're, uh, we're all praying to our gods oh, uh, yes. we won't perish here and you need to be praying to uh, and they said who are you uh, they yeah. didn't even know uh, Jonah went and hid among strangers uh, trying to get away from God uh, but oh he said I am a Hebrew I serve uh, the living God uh, that made this water here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. And it scared them to death. Uh, and they'd heard about this God. Uh, and you know what? Uh, and, uh, and John told them there, uh, you're going to have to throw me over uh, if you're going to live. And they tried not to do that. Uh, they must have been uh, pretty good people there. Uh, and they didn't even want to throw him overboard. Uh, uh, but you know what? And when they tried everything else, uh, and why? Uh, and they took him. And uh, they threw him over there. And you know what? As soon as he hit that water, uh, a calm came on everything. Uh, oh! 
and they said that the man on that boat, they began to worship God from there, right. the true and living God yep. there. You know what, my Lord, when he's hanging on the cross yeah. there, and when, just when you thought all of his natural works were done, the sin, and he was hanging there, and they were still, he was hanging up with the couple of murderers yeah. there. Oh, God. And as he was laying, and when he's hanging there, uh, dying, uh, he heard one call on him. Uh, uh, Lord, Lord, uh, uh, when you come in your kingdom, uh, remember me. Uh, uh, my Lord, he used his last breaths there. Uh, uh, listen, uh, to take, uh, to save that man. Uh, uh, people, uh, you know why this world is full of troubles here. Uh, this world it's full of heartache here, uh, but oh, oh God, why, uh, you know that army uh, that Elisha's servants saw um, when they were surrounded uh, by the Assyrians there, yeah, yeah. Allison, uh, when they were surrounded and, and the servant was scared to death, uh, mm -hmm. they went, uh, master, we're surrounded, uh, oh, now that old man of God. He didn't call down thunder and lightning. He didn't call, uh, listen, for a sword, did he? Uh, he said, Lord, he got down on his knees. And he said, Lord, uh, let my servant see what I see. Uh, oh, and that servant went back outside. And that army was there. Uh, but he looked up a little bit higher there on the hills. And he saw uh, God's army everywhere he looked and had them all surrounded there oh God why listen here people that little baby Brandon that left this world yeah uh, the other day, uh, 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 listen, aren't you glad uh, that uh, God's kingdom is not of this world here? Uh, uh, people, I am today. Because yeah. I don't know how you get along. Get your song up. I don't know how you guys get along. But I have my ups and downs. And I know that when this world gets me down, I need to be able to, to look a little higher than this world. I need to be able to know that my Lord is there. Yeah. And when I leave here, that I am going on. When I leave this world, I know that I'll finally be getting to where I, to the place that I've been seeking. Yeah. Finally be home. When we come down to pray, let's all pray together. Let's call on the Lord. You have something on your heart. You have something on your heart that's weighing you down. You know what? You don't need me. You don't need this church. You just need to call on the Lord. Yeah. He's the one that's going to answer you, not me. Yeah, that's right. You've got something weighing you down, and you know what? I don't have all the answers. I can barely get myself through life. But I'm telling you right now that if you'll call on the Lord, He'll hear you. He'll comfort your heart. And I do a lot of foolish things in this world. But I hope that I won't leave any stone unturned that I'm trying to do what I think is right. I'm trying to serve God. 